Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. First of all, a big thanks from the bottom of my heart for making Quantity Surveying Studio very successful because we have last week reached the milestone of 10,000 subscribers. So without the support of all the viewers of Quantity Surveying Studio, this would have never been possible. So thanks a lot for that. And if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe for informative quantity surveying related videos. So today's topic we will be touching upon the difference between cost plan and bill of quantity. So this video we will be looking just the basic understanding of both these terms. I have already made detailed videos on both these topics. The link to those videos I will be putting it in the description so you can go through it. Now the main purpose of a cost plan and BOQ is finding out the cost of a project or the budget of a project. But the difference lies upon when it is prepared and how it is prepared. If you are a QS from the contractor side, then you will not be having an idea about cost plan. BOQ, yes, every quantity surveyor will have an idea about it and they would have seen a BOQ in their professional life. So that is not a big problem. But cost plan is something that usually a consultant makes. So if you are someone from the contractor side who is planning to switch into the consultant side, then this video will be really helpful. And in the interview also, this question can be asked like, do you know anything about cost plan? So you can easily explain it to them. So let's understand when both these are prepared. Cost plan is prepared during the initial stages of a project. That is the concept design stage or schematic design stage. During these stages, there will not be much documents or drawings available. And there will be mostly some reports available and some master plans available. So from these, we have to prepare as a cost manager or a QS, you have to make the cost plan to come into the budget of the project. So Again, these stages will be moving in different percentage wise. So initially it will be the concept design 50% stage. So there will be just 50% of information available. Then slowly with these details, whatever is available, you prepare the cost plan. Then the, co the concept design stage will move into an 100% stage where a few more reports details will come. Then it will be moving into the schematic design stage where the schematic drawings will be available that will also be the 50% stage or 20% stage stage to move into 80% then to 100%. So as the stage moves on, the cost plan also gets updated. And finally, during the detailed design stage, when you have all the documents, all the drawings, that is when you make your final BOQ. That is when BOQ comes into the picture. So this BOQ is sent to the different contractors during the tendering stage for uh, preparing their cost for carrying out those projects and then the successful contractor is awarded the contract. Now how both these are prepared? So again there might be some formats or templates which is already existing in that company or by the client. So based on that it can be prepared both you can cost plan or else there are some international standard method of measurement like for example NRM1 is used to prepare a cost plan the NRM1 elemental method. Again, I have explained this in the cost plan video. You can go through that. And BOQ also, the different standard method of measurements are available like NRM2, SESM4, POMI. Then for Indian project, it is IS1200. So these are the standard method of measurements that are usually used to make a BOQ and NRM1 is usually used to make cost plan again depending upon the client or the project or the company the there might be different uh, templates or formats which is specific to that company with which the cost plan is or BOQs are prepared. BOQ mostly the standard method of measurements are used but yes cost plan the way how it is prepared can differ according to the different templates. Now, how is the rates and quantities included in this cost plan and the BOQ? In the cost plan, since you will not be having much details, usually a uh, area is taken up or the lump sum amount is taken or some assumptions are made 
for example you might be having the master plan from there you will get a uh, area of that particular building or a room so you will be giving that area as the quantity for the different elements of a building the different items the all the civil items the structural items interior item the mep items then there can be some lump sum item there like from the reports of master plan you will be it will be mentioned that a generator used is used or an uh, uh, stp will be used so for these items you can just put a lump sum quantity for that and then some assumptions can be made as a consultant you will be knowing that sometimes for this much area of uh, room the light numbers will be this much so those assumptions as a cost consultant they will be already having some historical data so from these they will be putting up the quantities and again rates too they will be having a historical data for example if the cost plan that is being prepared is for a residential project they would have done other residential projects in that same country or area and they will be having the rates uh, for those projects that they have made and that can be used for this project also to come up to a estimated budget so as the different stages moves when you have uh, the quantities available you you will be changing your updating the cost plan with those quantities and accordingly the total budget will keep on changing based on what you have entered and the boq is usually prepared with the detailed design drawing that is available so in the final stage the detailed design stage you will be having all the document specifications so you can easily include your quantity that is taken off from the drawings using the different softwares available in the market and the rates again you have to get it from the suppliers and subcontractors the prevailing market rate and based on that you will be doing your rate analysis and including that into your boq so hope this video was informative this was just a basic idea about what the difference between cost plan and uh, boq is if you are from the contractor side then definitely you would have got some knowledge out of it you would have understood what a cost plan is and you can easily crack your consultant side interview and impress them in your next interview if you are applying for a new job or if you are planning to switch from the contractor side to the consultant side so keep supporting this uh, channel take care bye